Hi, Ben. So I want to take a quick minute here to talk about um, this whole Wood Spirit is a time lapse. It's Douglas Fir. Sorry, guys, there's a big part that got cut out. It wasn't filming. I thought it was. But anyways, I want to talk about um, selling your carvings, your wood spirits for the very beginners. You know, there's people like real, like artists, painters and stuff. Or painters will tell you, don't sell your stuff too cheap. Because if you sell it too cheap, you'll never be able to to raise the price or something like that kind of bullshit myth it's complete bullshit yeah don't sell your stuff too cheap because then you sell it for more expensive i don't know something like that don't sell your stuff too cheap because then you can't raise the price well i call bullshit for that because i'm raising my prices all the time you know pete used to give me crap all the time because he told me i sell my um stuff for too cheap which I understood I was. I was putting a lot of time, but I didn't know what I was doing. I was still learning, and I still am learning. And my prices will continue to go up. I'll continue to make less pieces. And, oh, here's a big thumbs up. Here's uh, swoosh lines. See those swoosh lines, just carve Rob? Yeah, we'll be talking about you in a minute here, just carve Rob. But, you guys, just here's the piece. I miss carving in the face, and so now I'm doing the hair. So, you guys, just carve your pieces. And give them away. Because if you give them away, people are going to see them in your friend's house or family's house, whoever you give them to, right? And they're going to be like, where'd you get that? And be like, well, my my nephew carved it for me or my cousin carved it for me or my friend carved it for me. Oh, well, you can, can you get me one? Yeah, I can get you one, but it might cost you some money. Well, can you ask how much? Oh, okay. Well, 20 bucks, you know, like char start charging 20 bucks. Because when you sell one for 20 bucks, well, guess what? You just bought yourself a new sharper burr. Okay, when you bought yourself a new sharper burr, your carvings are going to go faster. Okay, now your carvings are going to go faster. You're going to be able to carve more and you're going to be able to sell more. This is how I did it. This is just my opinion. This is how I did it. The faster you carve, they might not be good yet. Even mine aren't good yet to where I want them to be, but I'm carving faster. I'm selling more. But now I've done so many, I can charge more. So that myth about charging don't charge less than more is bullshit. Give the, trust me, put your hours into it. Give them away for free. People will see it. And trust me, you will sell some, start selling them. And when you start selling them, reinvest your money into better tools. When you get better tools, it, well, there's a thing for it, but whatever it's called, get yourself better tools and you'll, your carving will get faster and everything gets smoother. Look at that guy's chin. He's got a very big pronounced chin. This is like, I don't know. This guy's the Zeus God kind of. Anyways, so just don't be ashamed to sell. When I started, wood carvings are worth money, people. Here's some tricky camera work here. Um, when I started painting and stuff, I couldn't sell my paintings worth a shit. I still have 70 paintings, 60 paintings here of mine. Once I start wood carving, you guys see my living room. I don't have very much downstairs. If somebody wanted to come and buy a wood spirit, I maybe have two little cottonwood bark ones because they all sell. Wood carvings are special. They're different, right? So don't don't listen to that thing about don't sell your stuff too cheap. Yeah, sure you're gonna put you could sometimes you might spend five hours on a wood spirit and sell it for twenty bucks. Who cares? Sell it. Get your stuff out there. Don't ever worry about selling your stuff too cheap because I'll tell you right now, those artists that aren't put known professional artists that want to sell their stuff for too much money, well, they're the ones with all the art, their own art in their own place. They're the ones with 50 wood spirits in their own place because they think their stuff's worth too much, too much money and their stuff's not getting out there. Get your stuff out there. Give it away for free when you just begin. And it makes you feel good. It's called giving back too, right? Just get it out there. Oh, here we go. Here's the thing about just carve Rob. So I was carving live the other day and I read my, uh, we, sometimes I go back and read the comments. That's what just carve Rob said. Do you ever put ears on wood spirits? Capital letters. How about that? Hey, eh? just carve Rob. Then he says this. Ears are more tricky. Blah, 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 blah. So. I kind of, when I first, uh, I, was, I watched my live carving, I read the, the comments, I skipped through it, and I seen just carve Rob's, and I was like, huh, what a cheapy, cheeky, cheeky bugger. If it was anybody else, I'd be like, who the hell do they think they are? First of all, I carve what I want to carve. 
Second of all, he said it in capital letters, so he's trying to make a statement. Third of all, wood spirits don't have friggin' ears. <laughs> but it was just car rob, and, and it was just friendly banter. That's all it was. I texted him this morning. I sent him those two pictures and with a qu like five question marks behind it. He just texted me back, LOL. I said, buddy, wood spirits don't have ears. Ears aren't hard to carve. I've carved lots of ears on lots of different things. It might be tricky to carve with a wood spirit though because you got the, the sideburns and then they go behind the sideburns and you got the hair behind the ears but i don't care to carve ears you have to have lots of depth right in your piece you gotta you gotta carve it deep down the sides to get those ears to pop out right so but jeff carve rob's gonna carve one with ears go for it uh just carve rob but i'll tell you right now wood spirits carving fusion wood spirits do not have ears bud they don't have ears Go ahead, make a carving fusion wood spirit with ears. Maybe it will go viral. Who knows? But for me, they don't need ears. Wood spirits are a thing of spiritual. They don't even, like, hey, if you say, why doesn't your wood spirits have ears? Well, Rob, guess what? Some of my wood spirits don't have eyes. Some of my wood spirits don't have lips. So what's the, what's the, what's, what's the thing, Rob? Let's see you carve her up, bud. Let's see you get her done. Here's just a visual you guys to look at. I think it's pretty neat. It you can tell on the left hand side I cut his uh, beard hair down too low, too thin. Bad cut, Johnson. Bad cut. And I really am thinking about buying um, a battery, a still 140, because they come with quarter pitch. Uh, uh, my buddy Chris told me they already come with quarter pitch sprockets, so it's easy to put a bar on it. But I'll have to upgrade to the bigger charger. The better charger and maybe a couple batteries so i think you're probably i think i'm probably looking at a thousand dollars because this tent i don't know if you guys noticed but some of my recent videos you'll see like a little glare in the bottom corner bottom left corner because my camera got a little tiny splinter on the bottom of the lens so and anyways if it, it it films better when the door is closed. So when you're running your chainsaws with the gas and the, and the oil and stuff like that, it gets super smoky in there. And this winter, when I'm doing carvings in here, I don't want to get smoked out, right? Because I want to keep the door closed. I want to be able to turn my heater on. So I think it makes sense to buy the, the 140 still battery saw. So that's why I'm trying to pump out these wood spirits so I can make extra money to buy the saw. It's hard work. Anyways, there's some more. The eyes aren't great, but whatever. It's more camera trick there. Here's my Makita finger sander. Love it. It's an expensive tool, but tell me, I'll tell you guys, you can do all shaping with the nose and fine detailing and stuff with it. Your eyebrow hairs. Uh, I know they, Evo Rick's got one of those cheaper ones, the win one. I think it works pretty good. But you guys, you know, for tools, you get what you pay for. Maybe some of, I think this Makita one's like 200, 250 bucks, 250 bucks. You get what you pay for, but if you can't afford the expensive tools, just like a Dremel, buy yourself a Wen Dremel, right? A cheap knockoff just to get started, sell some carvings and upgrade. So this finger sander, buy yourself a cheap Wen one. Tell you sell some carvings, they'll tell you can upgrade to the Makita. Here I am cutting in the uh, beard hairs. I was trying to do the Steve Kanzora beard here, but it didn't really work. It's, you guys, Steve Kenzora does have a YouTube channel. If you go back and look at some of his old videos, you can see how he twists his wrist with his chainsaw and he gets some real depth into that beard, but you can't really see me doing it here. But I, yeah, I was try and find artists that you can copy their work pieces. I love Steve's beards. So I want to try and copy his beards. I'll make my own face, but yeah, copycat, copycat. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, guys, there you go. There's a piece of driftwood I found, two-hour carve. I hope it helps somebody, um, you know, when there's, when it comes to selling your art, my camera's going to die here. And um, just, you know, the more you do, the better you're going to get, then you're going to start making money. Don't be afraid to sell your stuff too cheap. I say that right now. People will be like, don't sell your stuff too cheap because you, you can never ask more. Well, that's wrong. You can ask more once you get better, okay? Just remember that. Hope you're all good, and uh, thank you for all the support, everybody. Talk to you later. Carving Fusion. Over and out. Carry on! Carry on, Brian! Carry on!